Hey guys, today I'm filming a video, kind of like tips on how I am transition transitioning on becoming a minimalist or getting to the level of minimalism that I want to be at. I decided that I want to do kind of like a couple videos on this just because there's so much um, to talk about when it comes to minimalism. It's not just the amount of stuff you own. I mean it is, but it's, all, it's broken down into different categories. So today I'm going to be talking about clothing. To start this video off, I'm basically going to talk to you really quickly about how I decide on what I, on what I give up or what I decide to let go when it comes to clothing. About a year ago, I decided that I wanted to take on a more minimalistic lifestyle and that's when I started clearing out my closet, clearing out my makeup, clearing out you know, everything. I've gotten rid of over three-fourths of the amount of things that I used to own, which is pretty exciting. And right now I'm just talking about clothing. Like I said, I'll make more videos on other topics later on. I'm going to actually show you guys my closet because I'm sitting in front of it. It still is a lot, and that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not where, I'm, where I want to be. I'm not at my end goal yet, but I have about 30 hangers. Um, when it comes to cute shirts, workout shirts, sleep shirts, dresses, anything that can be hung that's not pants is being hung in my closet right now. And just as like a comparison, before I started clearing out my closet, I had over 80 hangers. And I also had a dresser that I had shirts in and stuff like that, so I had an excessive amount of clothes. As I started letting things go and detaching myself from things that I felt I needed to have because what if I would wear it one day or what if I needed it for a special event or something like that. Once I realized that I was just making excuses for keeping things and that I didn't actually need them, it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. That being said, I still, like I said, I'm still in the process of getting rid of things and the way that I decide on what to give up um, I asked myself a couple questions. When's the last time I wore it? Why do I still have it? So, for example, I'll talk about something like this and something like this. So, when it comes to this sweatshirt, I'll ask myself, when's the last time I wore it? Yesterday. I wear this pretty much every single day. Um, what can I use it for? Being comfy, being cute. I love this. You know, this I'll keep probably for a very long time because I wear it a lot. When it comes to something like this, this is a dress. I'm not going to take it off the hanger because it doesn't really matter, but I'm torn between getting rid of this. I like it because it's cute and because I don't have that many dresses and that's why I'm still holding on to it, but I haven't worn this in months. That's the thing. I'll admit, like, even though I've gotten rid of so many things, I still struggle and that's okay. You'll still struggle along your process of getting rid of things because it is hard, especially if you think something is cute. But that's typically what I'll ask myself. What I do if I'm deciding to give something up, I have this bag right here that I store clothes or items in that I am getting rid of. I'll leave it in this bag for a couple weeks and every so often I'll go through this bag and make a final decision on whether or not I'm gonna keep it. And I'll either donate it or I have this app called Poshmark, you guys probably heard of it, it's pretty popular, and I use it to sell clothes that I'm getting rid of. I actually just posted some new things on my Poshmark app. I'm pulling it up so I can show you. So hopefully this will focus, but this is what my closet looks like. I just posted like 10 new items on here. And you can see these are things that I've previously sold. So this is a really useful app because you're able to resell and earn some money for items that you might not necessarily want to donate. What I do is I'll donate things right away if it's super used or it's like something like socks or like something like that that I'm not really, it doesn't really like, it's not worth the effort of putting it on the app. Even though the app is super easy to use, I just know I wouldn't want to purchase something that might be in bad condition. So I use this app to post like my better, um, less used items that people are probably going to be interested in, if that makes sense. Whatever doesn't get sold on my app within like a week, I usually just donate. But talking about the app for a little bit, it's super easy to use. Like I said, basically you can upload anything. It doesn't even have to just be clothes. It's free in the app store and you're able to make your own closet, which is what I have. Um, 
to sell things like clothes. If you guys do happen to have a Poshmark app, go ahead and leave in the comment what your closet name is so we can check it out. Everyone who's watching this video, um, you know, if somebody wants to find something that's pretty good condition for not the same amount of money as when it was originally bought. That's another thing that I like about this app. Um, even though I am, you know, becoming a minimalist, I still do buy new things. Um, but as I buy new things, I usually get rid of more old things. And so I even love this app for shopping because there's some really awesome brands on here. I've posted things from Adidas. I've seen Gymshark being posted on this app for way cheaper than the original price. So I'm going to show you guys actually some of the things that I recently posted. I actually just posted them today um, just so you guys can get an idea of what's in my closet because whatever I just showed you on my phone isn't like super detailed. I just posted this LF bralette. I've literally worn this like twice. It's a little bit too big for me and that's why I don't wear it. But it's like this lacy light pink color. And then I posted this dark gray crop top. I love this material. It's super stretchy and it's so comfortable but I don't really wear it too much anymore because I don't really wear dark colors anymore. I typically like either white or nude or light grays and so I haven't worn this in a while and that's why I decided to give it up. I even posted this originals t-shirt from adidas if you guys know i worked at adidas for a while so i have a lot or i did have a lot of adidas things um and most of them i've actually already sold on the app but this is something that i did post today and then something else that i posted is just this obey t-shirt um it's like an oversized just comfy shirt i love this shirt but like i said this just isn't really my style anymore but a lot of you guys ask me where i get my clothes i'm gonna this so i don't feel messy a lot of you guys ask me where I shop and where I get my clothes from, so if you're interested in that, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link directly of where you can download this app, and I'll also leave my information of where you can find what I'm selling, just in case you want to check out, you know, what clothes I have that I'm selling. You know what I mean? Because you guys want to know where I get my clothes, and here are my clothes. Alright, moving on to things that aren't shirts, because my purpose in showing you my closet was just to, like emphasize that everything that can be hung on a hanger besides pants is hung in my closet which says a lot because like I told you guys before I moved out here I had a dresser so I'm going to actually show you guys how I organize my clothes um, I just showed you my closet but I'm going to show you where I store like my bottoms my bathing suits you know stuff like that even though I still use like a drawer setup it's totally less than a dresser and I'll just show you guys so this is where I store the rest of my clothes. This little thing right here is from Target. It was only like 40 bucks and then each square little drawer thing was like $5. Only four of these are filled with clothes. Originally when I moved out here, all five were filled with clothes, but I have continued to get rid of things. So now only four are. Up in this drawer, I have like underwear and socks and sports bras. Um, it doesn't even fill up that whole drawer. I actually, I'll tell you guys in a second. And in this drawer, I have bathing suits. Bathing suits are what I have the most of. You guys probably know if you follow me on other social media. I go to the beach a lot, so it's difficult. That's one of the most difficult things for me to get rid of is bathing suits. But I'm really trying to get rid of a few more so that way I can combine these two drawers and just have all of those things in one drawer and then only have three of these filled with clothes because then it would be even less. And here I have jeans and jean shorts, anything that's denim. So I have a, like a denim skirt. I have, I think, three pairs of jeans and three pairs of jean shorts. I'll actually show you guys because I'll even talk to you guys about like what I'm struggling to give up just so you guys can maybe relate that it's hard, it's difficult but it's still doable. So I still love this skirt. I'm not getting rid of that. The only things that I'm considering getting rid of are these black jeans down here at the bottom. I have two pairs of black jeans. These ones have holes in them though, but they don't even fit me. They're too big on me. Um, and these ones fit me way better. And I wear these ones way more. I haven't even worn these in a while because they don't fit me well. Actually, I just decided I'm getting rid of them. But that's something like that where I had, I've held onto those jeans for a bit of time. 
that's why it's a little bit easier for me right now to get rid of them because I've been thinking about it for a while. So before I moved out here and before I started cutting back on my clothes, I had like 10 pairs of jean shorts. Um, I don't know if I had more jeans because in Florida, I didn't really wear jeans too often. So I have, I've pretty much had the same amount of jeans, but shorts I've totally cut back on. And then the last drawer that I have clothes, on, clothes in is this one right here. And I keep like workout leggings, sweatpants, and like my comfy shorts. So like stretchy shorts, ones that aren't denim. And I have three pairs of workout leggings. I usually have a pair of sweatpants and then I have three pairs of comfy shorts that I keep in here. So obviously I do not need all of that stuff and I'm aware, but it's just a process for me to get rid of things. But before I moved out here, like I told you guys, I worked at Adidas for two years. I had like 10 pairs of Adidas leggings. Um, I had like five pairs of Gymshark leggings. I had like four pairs of sweatpants. So I've cut back a lot, still not where I wanna be, but just trying to let you guys know that it's a process. That's where I keep all of that stuff. So literally all my clothes are in these four drawers and whatever tops I have are hung in my closet. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. An update on my process of, you know, <laughs> cleaning out my closet, if you want to call it. Why? Every time I talk, planes go by. Like I was telling you guys, I'm planning on making more topics on minimalism. Um, and I'm gonna just share with you guys my ideas and just let me know in the comments like what you think about these topics. I wanna make a video on um, minimalizing like makeup and storage when it comes to that, minimalizing like decorations and like um, just little things I guess. I wanna make a video on minimalizing like even toiletries, even though I do have like a set skincare routine, a, a set, whatever, I want to make a video. Maybe that can be included in my makeup video. It could be like a minimalizing products video and that can be all included. Actually, just go ahead and thumbs this video up if you guys are up for those ideas so I know. Yeah, if you guys have any questions for me on minimalizing or tips or yeah basically if you have any questions or if you're struggling with something that you want to let go of you can go ahead and message me on social media i'll leave my hi why i will go ahead and leave my social media in my description box and here on the screen so you can message me directly if you have any questions or you can leave them in the comments what your questions are and i'll try to get back to you guys be sure like i said to check out poshmark um, you can download it for free in the app store i'll leave a link where you can directly download it and be sure to check out my closet and yeah i hope that you guys have a great day and that's it um i'll talk to you later bye